Thank you for joining me here in the Mid-America Prospecting MAP office in Murfreesboro, Arkansas. We're just a half mile from the Crater Diamond State Park right now, and this is uh, our office. And I wanted to talk today about two diamonds in particular that Marshall Reef found. Now, Marshall Reef has found a lot of diamonds at the crater. And during 2003, he dug a lot of deep holes in the East Drain and found a lot of diamonds. And I've got other videos about that. But I want to talk about two diamonds in particular that he found. And I'm going to be sure to read the statistics so I don't get this wrong. Um, in August, on August 12th of 03, he registered a 2.69 carat brown diamond. And then uh, a little over two months later, he found a 1.96 carat white. Uh, those are both pretty good sized diamonds. The only one out of every 32 diamonds registered at the state park weighs one carat or more. And so here's one that's 196, almost two carats. And here's one over two and a half carats, 2.69. So these were big diamonds, a white and a brown. Well, he had them both cut, and the brown cut to a 1.15 carat. So it lost more than half of its weight in the cutting. And it's not a, a perfect, pure diamond. Um, it, it needed to be cut. And then um, the 1.96 carat white it was kind of an odd shape, and he had it cut and it now weighs 77 points. Now there are 100 decimal points of weight per carat, so this is over three quarters of a carat cut. Well, the reason we're talking about that now is both of those diamonds are in this box that came registered mail today to our PO box in Murfreesboro. Marshall hadn't even seen them yet. For a while, he had them set in a gentleman's uh, nugget ring, gold nugget ring, a uh, big, a lot of gold, a full ounce of gold in that ring. And I made a separate video about that. I showed the cut diamonds set in the gold ring that he wore. He decided he wanted to uh, have the diamonds graded by the GIA, the Gemological Institute of America in Carlsbad, California, which is down near San Diego, Southern California. So uh, he asked me if I could do him a favor and um, send the diamonds to him because you have to have a, a account with GIA and I'd had other diamonds certified uh, with them. So uh, he asked me if I could mail them and I said, yeah, no problem. So uh, I got the diamonds from him and I mailed them on January 31st, 2024. Well, here almost a month later, uh, February 27th, 2024, we got them back in the mail. It took a full week. Uh, they sent it a week ago today, but it, it went USPS ground, but it went registered mail. And I was told by someone at the post office, Kay, that that slows things down when you have it registered because at each place it goes, like it went to Memphis, it went to Little Rock, and then it came to Murfreesboro, the postmaster has to sign off that they received an intact registered mailbox. Uh, it, it's got to be sealed with this special brown tape and so they can prove nobody opened it or took anything out of it. So what we're going to do right now is a little box opening. Um, Marshall hasn't seen this yet and uh, I'm going to take it over there to him and just, oh, as soon as I get done opening this, but uh, we're going to take a sneak peek and open this package from GIA and, and uh, see what we can learn. Uh, there's supposed to be an invoice in here that I'm going to write them a check for and Marshall's going to pay me cash to reimburse me for the uh, expense. So there's a, a, an expense to have it graded by the GIA. They've been grading diamonds for more than 100 years. So they are, are the go-to experts. And uh, <clears throat> they are uh, the top of their field. And this is how they package it. They do this every day. So we've got our uh, data information on the top and the rest of the box is empty. So everything is in this. And what they do is they grade the diamonds and this is the grade card and we'll get to that in a minute. And uh, this is the invoice and I won't 
share his private information on how much it costs to have it graded. But if you want to have a diamond graded, you can check with uh, the Gemological Institute of America in Carlsbad, California. So let's see what this packet is first. This has a diamond in it, and this has a diamond in it. And uh, we'll just kind of this. Tells, okay, <laughs> we'll get to this in a minute. I had to cheat. I got to know. Oh, wow, cool. That's great. Good news. Good news. But anyway, we'll talk about the diamonds for a minute. Let's look at the brown one first. If my eyes will adjust, we'll see which one this is. So they come in these cool packets, and the diamond is in here, and they put a serial number on it for handling it in their in their system so they don't get it confused with any other diamond and this tells all about diamond grading and ooh that is just a cool very very sharp uh brochure and their little uh, in symbol on there as well so let's see okay this is the brown one this is the one i wanted to talk about first they give the uh gia grade report number so this card this certificate this certificate has a grade report number on it and Marshall following my advice paid a little extra money to have this grade report cer certificate number micro laser engraved along the girdle you can't see it with human eye you'd have trouble seeing it with a magnifying glass but with the microscope you can read that number and what's important about that is then you can prove that this paperwork matches this diamond. So I think it's great that they micro laser engraved it. We did that with my uh, 2.13 carat brown rice diamond that cut down to a 124. We had them do a grade report on it and micro laser engrave the certificate number on the side. So anyway, oh, this is just cool. They do it so right. So, <clears throat> Uh, this is a, a grading report. It is a cushion cut brilliant is the, the shape and cutting style. The measurements are 6.75 by 5.61 by 3.91 millimeters. So they measured it accurately. It weighs 1.15 carats. That's certified here. And the color grade is a fancy dark yellowish brown. That's neat. I, I, I like that. That is a better description than just it's brown or it's yellow. It's a fancy dark yellowish brown. The color origin is natural. It hasn't been enhanced like with uh, radiation or, or man colored it in any way. The color is natural and the color distribution is even. In other words, throughout the diamond, it's got even coloring. It's not darker at one end and lighter at the other. The clarity grade is a 13. Now that's not great. It's uh, just doesn't have that great of clarity. The polish is very good. The symmetry is good. No fluorescence. They check to see if it will glow under a black light and this one has no fluorescence. Uh, comments. It's got uh, clouds, pinpoints, internal graining and surface graining are not shown it says so anyway uh that's interesting information about this and i'll just open it real quick and show you this is how they have wrapped diamonds for over a hundred years the millars did this back in world war one era when they ran their diamond recovery plant the crater of diamonds in their archive still has all the papers where they um would weigh diamonds and write on the outside how much they weighed and what color they were and they would wrap them up like this. So here is his cut brown diamond that was just graded and micro laser engraved. So pretty cool. Uh, it made it all the way back from California and uh, I will be taking that to Marshall momentarily. Until then, get to go to the white one. I like this better. now. It started out a 1.96, was cut to a 77 point. Um, 
on on this grade report, let me get it all out here. I'll put everything back right shortly. Oh, that's the brown grade report. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. Ooh, these are just sharp. I mean, they they are a classy outfit. Ooh, they do it nice. It even shows the the shape of the diamond. It's a pear shape. Okay, in this grade report, dated February 16th, 2024, got the grade report number. The shape and cutting style is a pear modified brilliant. The measurements are 8.17 by 5.01 by 3.11 millimeters. Carat weight is, oh, 78 points. I've been saying 77. We got it wrong. I'm sure you'll take an extra point. Uh, so anyway, over three quarters of a carat. The color grade is M and a faint brown. The clarity grade is a VVS2, very, very slight inclusion. So pretty clean diamond. The polish is good, the symmetry is fair, the fluorescence, none. This does not fluoresce under a black light. Um, it also has the grade report number micro laser engraved in this diamond. Now, <clears throat> let me open it up, make sure the diamond's there. Ah, uh, yes, there's that glowing beauty. It has really nice luster color fire. The, the light is hitting that and I'm getting just every color of the rainbow out of it. To me that's a really clean diamond but it's an off-white. It's got a tinge of brown. Now the Uncle Sam diamond is that way too. Well interesting thing the Uncle Sam is a type 2A diamond which only 2% of the world's diamonds are type 2A and that brings us to this letter. He paid extra to have uh, the type classification graded and he got this really thick nice uh, report and this is what we've been wondering about and thinking about. Let me read you some in information. Scientists classify diamonds into two main types, type 1 and type 2, based on the presence or absence of nitrogen which can replace carbon atoms in a diamond's atomic structure. See, a diamond is 100% carbon. Well, some of the diamonds have, mo excuse me, most of the diamonds in the world have a trace amount of nitrogen. Now, nitrogen is in our air. 78% uh, of the air we breathe is nitrogen, uh, only a small percent of oxygen. But anyway, these two diamond types can be distinguished on the basis of differences in their chemical and physical properties. Type two diamonds contain little, if any, nitrogen and they are subdivided into two groups, type 2A and type 2B, both of which are quite rare. Less than 2% of all gem diamonds in the world are type 2. According to the records of the GIA laboratory, the 0.78 carat pair modified brilliant diamond described in GIA Diamond grading report number blah 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 has been determined to be a type 2A diamond. <laughs> the, the value of the diamonds go up a lot when it's, it, it's only uh, among the 2% of diamonds in the world. So this isn't a huge diamond, but it is a type 2A. Type 2A diamonds are the most chemically pure type of diamond and often have exceptional optical transparency. Type 2A diamonds were first identified as originating from India, particularly from the Golconda region, but have since been recovered in all major diamond producing regions of the world. Among famous gem diamonds, the 530.20 carat Cullinan 1 and the 1.0560 carat Kohenor diamonds are examples of type 2A and also the Uncle Sam diamond is an example of a type 2A. So the largest diamond found in the US is a type 2A and this cute little 78 point white is a type 2A. So this is very good news. I'm happy to take it over to Marshall Reef now and show him. Thank you for joining me for this special report from Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas.